the importance of this intellectually stimulating debate, strange activity occurring at the International Space Organization takes precedence. Hmm. Whoa! Hey, Jer! Welcome to the 21st century. Yeah! Awesome redo! Your office looks really cool now. Glad you like it. Yeah. Now well, if we could only get him to wear clothes that match. If you're quite finished, aside from your upgraded 7.09 X powder jetpack and bunch <laughs> Release Releasing immediately. Who said that? What, not who. Gadget lending and distribution interactive system, also known as Gladys. Gladys? Oh yes, my computerized assistant. I created it myself. <laughs> so he believes. What do you need an assistant for? We do all the work. I assure you, I am quite busy all day long. This is way cool, Jerry. Thank, Thank you. you. Huh? A word of caution. Gladys seems to be developing a mind of her own. Machines don't have minds, Jerry. They're incapable of thought, feeling, or <laughs> aggression. Moving right along. On this mission, Alex, you'll have the Scanner Biolab watch. Huh? <laughs> cool. Huh? Sam, you'll be assigned the Wind Tunnel 9000 Laser Tornado Blast Hair Dryer. Clover, mm. you'll have the Sonic Disintegrator Boom Box. Uh, and Jer, your Gladys seems to be a bit buggy. I said the Sonic Disintegrator Boom Box, Gladys. Negative. Don't negative me. I wired you, I can unwire you. Double negative. I hardwired myself into the mainframe. Wow, she, I mean, it, does have a mind of its own. <laughs> Gladys knows best. You'll also have a super range biodegradable spitball tracker. <gasps> Your saliva activates the tracking mechanism, but it only lasts an hour, so you have to be quick about it. And it has a bit of a, an aftertaste. And I don't want to hear any ifs, ands, or buts. Finally, I trust you'll appreciate the newest plugin. No way! Way? <gasps>
thank you, girls. Oh, thank you. Oh, that was that was amazing. Thanks very much. Someone stole our self-launchable satellite! Huh? I think we just fell for the old distraction trick. And with no sign of any clues, either. I guess we wait for Jerry's analysis of the substance we collected. Scissors, paper, rock! He'll just cheat again. How can you cheat at scissors, paper, rock? You'll find a way. Well, then what do you suggest? I suggest we focus on the mission. How can you think of the mission during a time of major personal crisis? <laughs> Don't you need a special license to wear clothes that ugly? Oh, that lame comeback. Something just came up. <laughs> now what were you about to... I trust you weren't in the middle of anything urgent. Uh, only the most important decision of our lives! Oh, good, then it can wait. <laughs> that sample you provided is an anti-gravity formula the International Space Organization was working on back in the 80s. You whooped us just to tell us that? X-Powder, hello dear! We're just the press of a button away. Wait a minute, I read about that. The research ended when the astronaut running the program never returned from a mission. Precisely. And no one else could decipher his exact formula. Uh, X-Powder, still a viable option. Can I get the formula? I'd like to work on it. Red alert in Sector 4, Jerry. There's another theft in progress in a laboratory that makes guidance systems. But look! All these codes, they're laser points. Whoever it is hasn't even tripped the motion detection alarm. How's that possible? Let me know when you find out. Wait! We still need to know who should get the bigger room! Well, that's simple. <laughs> sort of makes a sneak attack impossible. One false move and our presence is revealed. So how'd the thief get past? Now is not the time for grooming, Clover. Okay, first of all, there's never a bad time for proper grooming. And second, we'll just use the mirror to deflect the beams away and clear a path. That's a great idea. Okay, bad idea. I can't believe my mirror failed me. Stand back, I have an idea. Thank you. 
the big bedroom back home. <laughs> huh? Uh, nice hair. No wonder he's hiding underground. Na -na 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 blah blah. Astronaut Major Snell, who was head of the anti-gravity program and disappeared during a mission, never to be seen again. Blah blah blah. <laughs> I don't 
don't know about this, Gladys. It looks fabulous. Huh? Oh. Gladys, we didn't need the laser nail file after all. Ow! I broke a nail. Aww. Are you sure? You deserve it. After saving the world and our lives, it's the least we can give you. <laughs> <laughs> Friends forever! Okay, we got my pack. Score! The best bedroom in all of Beverly Hills and no one deserves it more than I do. coolest thing in the world that our parents are letting us live together while they're on vacation and all, but it's, it's just, well, you know, Clover and Alex are like my total best friends in the whole universe, and I mean, what if we don't get along as roomies? What if Alex leaves the empty milk carton in the fridge? Or, or Clover totally uses all the fabric softener in one load? Or what if... Who <gasps> left their wet towel on the floor? Oopsie, I, I, I gotta go.
just pick out the cameras around here, honey. spy thingy. Hey, there did my glamour girl score. And there is my cappuccino. <laughs> Morning, spies. Sorry to have disturbed you so early. You didn't disturb us, Jerry. Clover did. Yeah, for the first time I'm actually glad we were whooped. At least we're away from all those nosy TV cameras. Cameras? They busted you in your flannel footies. I should be so lucky. I mean, hello, wearing a towel here. Oh my, that's who you are. <laughs> okay, fine. So our glamorous day started out a little unglamorous, but trust me, once you girls get on board the fame train, you're so gonna love it. All right, ladies. We really need to get started. People have been reported missing in Toronto. Ugh, thanks, Chair. That really narrows it down. Yes, well, all we have to go on is the missing persons reports that have been flooding in. There have been ten in the last hour. Why don't we map out where the people lived and average it together? It might show us where they were headed when they vanished. Good thinking, Sammy. Calculating hm. for now. Wow, your new assistant is like top notch, Jared. Yes, yes, very impressive. Can we focus, please? Looks like all the homes are within two miles of the Toronto beaches. Toronto? You know what that means? Um, a trip to the Great Lakes? No. Real maple syrup! And now on the gadgets. Today, you'll get the Heat Sensor 6000 infrared motion detector sunglasses with binocular function, the sonic disintegrator boombox, and three Hannah Tracer tattoos. Extra, extra fashion news flash here. I'm really tattoos for so last millennium. I'll make a note of that. Good luck on your mission, ladies. One thing that freaks me out more than ghost towns, and that's carnivals. That's weird. There's no record of the city issuing a permit to Carnival Diablo or any other carnival in the last 20 years. Then we'd better go down and take a closer look. Totally lame, or Carnival Diablo left town in a hurry. Not that I'm complaining. Hey, check this out. Of an answer? Oh, no, no. I don't care how. 
how freaky my hand looks, I am not wearing that type of thing. Um, Sam, you may want to rethink the glove. No! Oh, fine. But if I start a new fashion trend, I am switching schools. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm clever, but my friends call me fabulous. And my friends call me out of here. Me too. Changed its focus from pretty and popular to freaks and geeks. A jealous oh. much bandy? Or is envy green the hot new skin color for spring? <laughs> Whatever! Hey, what is all? Um, just our uh, compact alarms. Yeah, they go off whenever our foreheads get shiny. <laughs> if you'll excuse us. Good afternoon, ladies. Any results yet on why that mirror turned my hand into a freaky claw? Unfortunately not, but another carnival diablo has popped up in Brazil. We'll check it out, no problemo. Good luck. Wait, there is a problemo. To get to Brazil, we have to get past Hans. Three carnival freaks coming up. Good thinking, Alex. Okay, even the highest heel in my shoe collection couldn't have prepared me for this. This is so weird. In Toronto, the carnival couldn't pack up and get out of town fast enough. And here, it's the star attraction, with milling cats and everything. Yay! It looks like Carnival Diablo has been around a long time. There's something going on here, girls. Look!
found capable of altering a person's DNA. So that's how the ringmaster's turning people into freaks. Freaks? My hand is just the beginning, as in Clover and Alex are now more zoo than Beverly Hills Fabu. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Doesn't everyone want to be in show business? For your information, I already am in showbiz. I'm a Beverly Hills glamour girl. Nice move, Sammy. You could totally be in the carnival. You think? Because I've always had a thing for the trapeze. Hello! In a cage here, we can talk about your bizarro carny fantasies later! Right. Sorry. Thanks! My pleasure, but we're not done yet. Did you learn anything else from the head freak? Let's just say the ringmaster's thinking bigger. Much bigger!
Now there's something you don't see every day. What happened to Clover and Hans? And then in second grade, in carnival much like this one, I won the Little Miss Butter Churn pageant. <laughs> I knew right then my calling was to make the world a more beautiful place. For the millionth time, honey, what is up with the elephant costume? Please. Uh, shh, patience, Hans. I'll get to that. Now, where was I? Oh, oh, right. Then in third grade. Think we should rescue Hans from Clover? Nah, I think Hans can fend for himself. Against Clover? <laughs> no way! <laughs> Good job, lady. See you back at home. We'll see you soon, Jer. When Clover's gonna be finished is anybody's guess. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. I'm just glad the Whoop scientists were able to make everyone normal again. Tie your weekend before my skin stops feeling scaly. Okay, ready or not, girls, it's glamour time! <laughs> Center pays per bottle? <laughs> 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 
It's on! Clover! I'm sure there's a perfectly good explanation why Alex is acting like a total wacko. Right, Alex? I'm sorry, guys. It's just that I need some cash. Dad, after my parents left on vacation, I kind of ran out. What about your allowance? Girls got needs. New Mega Grip rock climbing shoes, 3D boy candy trading cards, and have you seen the price of lattes send candles these days? Um, color me obvious, but what about getting a job? So not an option. Job would mean a boss, and you know I don't do well with bosses. Alex, if I told you once, I've told you a hundred times. Now look here, you. I can't understand what's the matter with you. Why you? <laughs> That's a major understatement. <laughs> yeah. Don't you worry your pretty little face. We'll personally make sure that you get a really nice boss. <laughs> about to lose her job. Clock, clock, clock! Excellent. Now get back to work! Easy, Alex. Yeah, don't let him ruffle your feathers. Infiltrate an evil chicken farm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> Actually, a number of people have been disappearing. You mean a number of nerdy people? Oh boy, geek rescue. Check it out! I cross-referenced their names and it turns out that they were all logged in at the same cyber cafe. Good work, Sam. You can start there. Now for your guest. You will be equipped with infrared motion detector sunglasses, faux snakeskin suction boots, yeah. and an electro hairnet. Don't wear this in the shower, you'll get quite a shock. And I added the magnetron hair curler. Gladys, I thought we had a talk about this. We did, Jerry. I just decided to ignore you. A new device that will attract any metal object to it like a super powerful electromagnet. Ooh, a hair curler! You read my mind. Farewell, girls. And good luck. <laughs> some files, trying to see who used this machine last. Password! Oh, please. I'll show you a password.
teach you to keep your tentacles to yourself. Jerry will want to take a look at this. Whoa! I have to get going. I only get an hour break before I have to be back in that stupid chicken suit. Three samples of Captain Clock. Well, I'd like to know what that spider thing was trying to do. Talk about creepy. I wouldn't be surprised if it was linked to those disappearances. Somehow. Don't miss our new Cajun chicken blends. The great taste of chicken now in a drink. <laughs> There's something different about you. Uh oh. Let me guess. You've done something different with your hair? That's not it. Hmm. Could it be that you're wearing a pathetic chicken suit? I almost feel sorry. Busting on you today is like shooting fish in a barrel. That's not what it looks like. I mean, it is a chicken suit, but it's, um, well, it's for charity. You know, the chicken suit-a-thon. <laughs> What are you doing? You gotta be nice to the customers. I'm sorry, Miss. Here's a coupon for a free chicken on a stick. Whatever. I'm out of here. Alex, if you mess up one more time, you are here. Oh, yeah? I can't think of anything I'd like better. What Alex means is uh, she, she can't think of anything she'd like better than giving away more chicken. <laughs> Ah, girls. At the mall, I see. Quel surprise. Uh, sorry, the Museum of Ancient Boredom was closed today. In any case, the analysis of that spider device is complete. It's some kind of neural interface device designed to form a link between the human brain and a computer. Do we know where it came from? It bears the manufacturing mark of Tetsuo Industries of Japan. The owner, Tetsuo Takara, is known as a genius electronics designer. Hey, I think that guy designed one of my favorite video games, Turbo Ninja Monkey Attack. Nerd much? <laughs> Get this. If you cross-reference Tetsuo's name with the real estate database, you discover that Tetsuo owns that cyber cafe in Vancouver. Looks like you're off to Japan. Sayonara. Ah!
that's in control of these people. But the real question is, what's he making those techno zombies build?
I do need a touch up. Wait, no! Magnetron! Sorry, Sam! Computers are super sensitive to magnets. Uh, do robot spiders count as computers? Only one way to find out. On? You don't remember? The icky spiders? The zombies? Nothing? The, the last thing I remember is coming across a powerful new virus when I was surfing the web. We better get Whoop to hunt down that virus before this happens all over again. No doubt. I've had my fill of battling techno geeks. Oh. No offense. <laughs> what? <laughs> Drag and drop the file into the new folder, and there you go, your own website. Wow, like, I never thought it would be this. Oh, hey, we're sorry you got fired from your job in the mall, Alex. Uh, chick like you deserves better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know you were an egg exceptional employee. <laughs> Who cares? This new tutoring job is way better. After our last mission, I'm practically a computer expert. And the best part is I'm in charge. There's no boss telling me I'm late or to stop gossiping because I'm the boss. Uh, uh, Alex, what do I do? No problem. Just press this and this. Ah! Help! Help! This isn't supposed to happen. Where's the boss when you need one? You know, it might not be too late to get your chicken soup back. Come on, don't get your feathers ruffled. <laughs> Okay, so maybe Clover was right and I'm a total nerd bilingual in geek speak, but hello, video games rock! It's one thing to kick bad guys' butts in real life, but try escaping the trogs on level 10 and Turbo Ninja Monkey Attack when you fired off your last mur! It's like total core voltage to the max! And if you don't have at least seven lightning bolts earned, game over! Lightning bolts! Huh? Nerd much? <laughs>
notice anything different? Uh, how could we not? I mean, hello, could your morning hair be any more unruly? I meant something different in the house. Something that's missing. Like parents' rules and responsibility? Exactly! <laughs> Dinner for breakfast. Breakfast for dinner. Manicures every, every day. day. Why not twice a day? All shopping, no stopping. <coughs> Who are you? And what are you doing in our shopping fantasy? to live here by yourselves, did you? Actually, um, yeah. Amusing notion, but not the case. I'm Myrna Beesbottom, a former Whoop agent. Uh, I've been assigned to be your nanny. Nanny! We're not catching flies, ladies. Mouths closed. Uh, excuse me, um, we don't need a nanny. Apparently, Jerry thinks you do. And judging by the way you keep house, I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> Seriously, a nanny? But we're like teenagers! Precisely why responsibility must be reinforced. If you abide by a few simple rules, you'll hardly know I'm here. Um, exactly what kind of rules? <laughs> Unless on Whoop business, curfew is at nine, junk food will not be tolerated, and there will be no telephone privileges until all homework is That reminds me. No boys. Good morning, ladies. I trust you. Thank you, Gladys. Lady, please allow me to explain. Mrs. B's bottom's presence is not punishment. In fact, I only have your best interests in mind. Our oh, best interests there. Ah, ta ta ta. Independence can be alluring, but you need to focus on your missions. Which brings us to the business at hand. Highly irregular meteor activity over the last 72 hours. Shooting stars? Can you say big deal? Actually, Clover, a great many of these have struck the Earth, including, most recently, a major observatory. Since most meteors are smaller than a pebble and burn up in the atmosphere, I'm guessing these would have to be huge. Precisely. Whoop is inclined to believe that there is something sinister at hand. Yes, I'm in. Anything's better than playtime with Nanny yells a lot. Very well, then. Gladys? Dispensing gadgets. Magno go go boots will allow you to walk on metallic surfaces. Ice cream perfume will freeze any object on contact. And one other item. Oh! You're giving us a car? It so makes up for the nanny thing, Jer. The remote will provide you with a direct link to Mrs. B's bottom. It's impervious to interference, and the blinking red light indicates a message is waiting. Oh, great. Reach out and annoy someone. Oh. Well, I expect you to behave on this mission. Remember, you're representing who? The World Organization of Human Protection. Well, I think we get the gist. Another meteor. Let's get you to your ship. Ship? Good ship! Oh, yeah. 
Doom gave us any digits? No, the part where all these meteors seem to be targeting spacey types. Hey, you're right! First the guy at the observatory, then the cosmonauts. But why? Alex! Oh, please, tell me our nanny didn't just yell our names across campus. When I go through the trouble of making you a nutritious lunch, the least you can do is remember to take it with you. But we had a... No excuses. Sam, turkey and sprouts, clover, roast beef on rice. Hello, vegetarian. Very well. Peanut butter and jelly, crusts removed. Hey, no fair. Life isn't fair. Now run along and study. Oh, this is so humiliating. It could be worse. At least no one saw us. Oh, sweet. I wish my nanny kept my crusts off. Oh, wait, that's right. I don't have a nanny. Well, oh. at least not since I was like six. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I I I gotta take this call. Ladies, it appears the meteorite sample you sent has been exposed to an extremely powerful magnetic field. Tons of cosmic anomalies can cause that. True. But so can a Teradyne 4000 magnetic flux resonator, one of which happens to be aboard the recently decommissioned Global Space Station. So if no one is up there, who's throwing the rocks? <gasps> Maybe it's aliens. There's only one way to find out. He's a nightmare. I know. 
know you. You're Miss Lady Luna, that wacky TV astrologer to the stars. <laughs> I don't believe it. When I called your hotline, your recording said I would find true love. And I did. Six times. Oh, you're too kind, my little moonbeams. Oh, welcome to my little celestial highway. Um, uh, love what you've done with the place, but you do know this is going to be a flaming ball of space junk any sec, right? Hmm. Ares is in the seventh house of Saturn, dear. Of course I know. I've just enough time to finish up here before I have to skedaddle. Um, finish up what? Oh, just a little plan to exact revenge on the station's final crew. Crew that should have included me! <laughs> Maybe it's time you got your air tanks checked. My ruling house was in perfect alignment, but then some star decided that he could take my place in line. Well, I guess you'll learn that when you grab the comet's tail, you get burned. So you're responsible for all those meteorite attacks. Correct again, my star. And you're doing all this because you didn't get picked to go into space? <laughs> According to my chart, it was my destiny. And now that countless kid will pay. Talibus? Ricky Rickerson is a totally gifted singer slash dancer. Now step away from that thingy. <laughs> so naive. So blind. <laughs> what did you do to us? Just a little stardust. That twinkle in your eyes should keep you out of my way long enough. <laughs> My cherubs, according to my charts, I already have. And they never lie. Oh, yeah? <laughs> A few little modifications was all it took. Now I have my very own Space Age slingshot. <laughs> Taking your ship. Mine's damaged beyond repair. And I would hate to miss our little star's newest hit. <laughs>
disappointed. Letting an inferior villain such as that get the better of you. <laughs> All I can say is that I'm glad I'm only the nanny and not your whoop superior. And if I'm not mistaken, there are three spies in this van who forgot to floss today. Yeah, we'll get right on that. You can drop us off here. Three have ruined everything! Well, I think you got your stars crossed, lady. Cause I'm predicting... On second thought, maybe I should take my horse home. You know, she really gives TV astrologers a bad name. Let's go get her! Olives with extra cheese, I presume? Jerry? Uh, where's Mrs. B's bottom? In hindsight, a nanny was a bit excessive. Since you've proved you're able to ask for help when you really need it, I think you'll do fine on your own. However, I should inform you that I've instructed Gladys to keep an eye on you. Gladys? How can she do that? Something. 
there's like some sort of cosmic message here that's like totally structured for my karmic chi. I think all that money I spent on Lady Luna's psychic webline finally paid off. Or maybe I should just steer clear of the chipotle sauce before bedtime. was going to be fun. Here's the thing. Even though we live on our own, we need rules. Because without <gasps> rules, there's chaos. Hello? Look around this place. It's a total dump. If we follow this chart, the house will be clean in no time. Clover, you're on bathroom duty. Ew, it smells in there. Alex, since today is the second odd Wednesday of the month, you get to clean the gutters. Okay. Better. Time to find out. Okay, how come you're not on the chart? <sighs> that is the kind of attitude that got this house messy in the first place. Now let's get training. Nice to see you girls. Cool tank! 
It's filled with specimens from the Indian Ocean. And nasty fish gunk. Not for long. Oh, Gladys! Hey, Jer, does she go backwards? And gutters? I don't do gutters. Neither does Alex. I see that living together has done wonders for your friendship. Okay, get this. We were cleaning the house because Miss Slave Driver here is totally against fun. And then? And then this crazed mailman smashed a hole through our wall. And then he threw a fridge at us. But the weirdest thing is he just disappeared without a trace. Oh, hey, maybe he did leave a trace. Quite sure. It's an unknown metal-based substance that has been traced to three locations. You girls will look for clues at its source. Please be somewhere fabulous. The first is a sulfur mine in northern Uzbekistan. He, you! The second is a sewage treatment facility in New Brunswick. <gasps> we'll take number three. A wise choice. You girls are off to an abandoned wheat factory. <laughs> On this mission, you will have the following gadgets. The Wind Tunnel 9000 hairdryer, the Biolab watch, and our newest device, the Quick Slick. Gladys, if you would. I apologize in advance. Why did she apologize? Because the Quick Slick is equipped with a supply of extra slippery crude oil. Press here. Ah! style never hurt. That's something you girls will never understand. <laughs> Look who I found! A real mailman! So you were behind the attack at our house? You are good. Save your breath. I'm not going to explain it. Let's call Jerry to send someone to pick up Scam. Then we have got to get home to separate our recyclables. Dennis says no thanks. Ah! Come on already. We need to practice. Remember our co-ed. <laughs> Just try and stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hope she 
doesn't come over. Way to jinx it. You losers might as well quit. There is no position called fashion victim in soccer. <laughs> into nastier versions of themselves. What's that all about? Sorry! Um, running for your life sure builds up an appetite. Hey! Back off! Uh-oh. What now? Oh, it's only you, Arnold. Hey, girls! Great to see you here! Now we can all study for next week's test together. Yeah, that's an idea, Arnold. Why don't you run to the cap and pick us up some study muffins? Hey, what's happening back there?
She's probably cleaning up the lab. We're scam. He's safely locked up in his usual isolation, so. <gasps> Don't tell me he's turned invisible. Mind if we crash your little party? Sam! What are you doing with that low life? <laughs> this isn't Sam. This is something better, stronger, meaner. What happened to the real Sam? <laughs> I don't know. Don't care. Then why is she cleaning Jerry's office? For, uh, reasons beyond your understanding. And like all of my metal clones, she exists for one reason. To destroy... Whoop. <laughs> Not so fast, agents. Behold, Scamlar. Scamlar? Oh, that'll really catch on. Oh, where does the time go? They grow up so fast, don't they? Sam is. 
Maybe you could bring her back here. This office is a mess. <laughs> girls by asking them to do a few chores. <laughs> oh, okay, so Clover totally busted me when she saw my room was a mess, but hello, rude much? Like, you don't just snoop around someone's room even if the door's open. That is total private territory unless it's so urgent, like you need another number two pencil or your science experiment got loose and took off in the house and... Uh-oh, that reminds me. I better return Clover's sweater before she realizes it's missing. <laughs> Quick, it was an emergency. 